Welcome to Rizvi's e-learning channel. Hello students. Today we are going to continue teaching software engineering. This is our second lecture. So we are going to study about software. What is a software? Software is a program. Various differences between programs and softwares are given. So here we can see some distinctions or differences between softwares and programs so sometimes these two words terms are used interchangeably but both of these terms are somehow different programs are developed by individuals for their personal use so first of all programs are also applications but they are developed by an individual for their personal use whereas software is developed by a group of engineers working in a team so this is the first difference software is developed by a team whereas program is developed by one person the program is usually small in size and software is in large size this is the second difference program is of soft small size and software is of bigger size then third difference is it is a single user and software is large number of users there can be more than one user for this lack lacks proper documentation there is no documentation because it is used or it is developed by individual and for personal use so there is no documentation and good documentation supports because it is developed by professional engineers and for professional use that is why there is good documentation available for softwares then there is a lack of user interface normally programs are run or the program are executed on dos mode but softwares are have good user interface they are good representation features have limited functionality and exhibit more functional there are limited features in programs but there are more features in softwares software is the collection of program documentations and operating procedures by which the computer can be made useful to people so this is the basic definition of a software it includes all the things that are being run in or that are being produced in the programs and additionally it includes documents and operating procedures also so that they can be used by users so now we will study the components of computer software what are the components there are three basic components in a software system number one is program second one is documentation and another is operating procedures like we studied in the definition the program is source code and object code this are the components of a program the operating manuals or operating procedures is user manuals operational manuals instructions scripts to be set up and instructions on how to treat failures and instructions to how to test the program these are the operating operating procedures these are the informations and the third part is documentation it requirement specification documents design and documents and test documents so combinedly these are the three main parts of a software system all right then what is a software product a software product may be developed for particular customer or may be developed for a general market product means the software which has been developed in order to sell in the open market or to any particular person or particular firm or organization product is the the item which has been made or produced or developed in case of software so that it can be sold for monetary returns and they can 
the developer can gain some gains from that income software products may be genetic products developed to be sold to a range of different customers customized products developed for a single customer according to their specifications so there can be two types of products one for the customized product one for general public so here are some examples software product is a product designated for delivery to the user what are the advantage what are the components or items that have been developed in the software product source code object code test suits test results plans reports documents manual data and prototypes all these things are available and are being provided to the customer who are going to purchase the software product from the developers so here we are going to show some difference between the student software and industrial strength software student software are those softwares that had been developed by students and the industrial softwares are those softwares that has been developed by the professional developers of industries the student software is not used for solving any real problems industrial strength software is used by the clients or organization for operating some of the part of the business this kind of software needs to be of high quality software is very expensive due to the fact that the software development is extremely labor intensive cost of the manpower employed and productivity is measured in terms of loc per person per month so that is why the software cost is higher late and unreliable when budget and schedule uh, are out of control this is a runaway condition unreliability means that software does not do what it is supposed to do see these are some of the examples when the software had not been developed properly or the cost is going higher then the person developing the software may leave or may run away from the project and also there are some drawbacks that it is not very good in developed developed very nice properly so it will be unreliable and maintenance and rework means to improve the software that has been given it will need some improvements and maintenance work so corrective maintenance and adaptive maintenance there are two types of maintenance that can be done rework and change is the major contributor to the software crisis software engineering deals with the problem domain so all these problems and issues can be solved with the help of software engineering if we take it up as a uh, method to solve or to develop the software or to improve already developed software to make some changes to do the maintenance work in the already developed software we can use the software engineering to solve all these problems okay so this was about till now for this video see you in the next one thank you